This tutorial covers how to update a contributed module by using the administrative interface and running the database update scripts, or by using Drush. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to update a contributed module and run the database update scripts. Before doing this, you should make sure that you have a contributed module that's been installed and there's an update available for it. You have a development version of your site that you can test this on first, that you've created a full site backup before proceeding on the live site. If you want to use the user interface, the core update manager module must be installed. And finally, if you want to use Drush, Drush must be installed. See the written version of this tutorial for links to each of these prerequisites. Note that if you're using Composer to manage your site's dependencies, you'll want to follow the tutorial on using Composer to update the code, and then come back here for instructions on running the database update script. Before you start, you'll want to check for any module-specific update instructions. This is typically necessary while updating modules that involve the usage of third-party libraries, but it's also always a good idea to read and understand all module-specific requirements before proceeding with an update. To find the instructions, check the module's project page. So for the Google Analytics module, I can check the project page. I might read the existing documentation. One good place to look is by clicking on the release, which you're going to update to, which will take you to the project's release notes. Here you can browse through the release notes and see if there are any special instructions about updating. Finally, you can also download the files that you're going to be using during the update and look for an update.txt, a readme.txt, or an install.txt file in that code that might contain additional instructions. Modules can be updated using either the administrative interface or with Drush. If you're updating a custom module rather than a contributed module, or if you see a message saying installing modules and themes requires FTP access to your server, or if the following steps do not work for some reason to obtain the new module files, follow the steps in the manual installation tutorial, then continue here with the step for running database updates. To use the administrative interface to update a contributed module, first put your site into maintenance mode. Click on configuration, then under development, click on maintenance mode, and check the box, put your site into maintenance mode, and click save configuration. Once your site is in maintenance mode, in the manage administrative menu, navigate to reports, and then available updates, and then update. This page shows you a list of all the modules that need updates. Find and check the box for each module you want to update in the list. Then click download these updates. On the next screen, click continue. Once that's complete, you'll need to run the database update script. If you obtain the new module files manually or use Composer to download, start with this step and reach the database updates page by typing in slash update.php in your browser. Click on run database updates. From the updates page, click continue. If there are any updates to be run, you'll have the opportunity to review them and then execute them at this time. If there aren't any, you'll be taken to the final step, which is this page. From here, you can return to the administrative section of your site by clicking on Administration Pages. After that's complete, you can put your site back into online mode or take it out of maintenance mode by unchecking Put Site into Maintenance Mode and clicking Save Configuration. Finally, it's a good idea to clear the cache after performing updates, just for good measure. Alternatively, you can use Drush to update a module. First, find the project name for the module you wish to update. One easy way to do that is by looking at the URL for the module's project page. The last segment of the module's project page URL, for example, in this case, Google underscore analytics, is the name of the module I'd like to update. Then in my terminal, I can run the drush command, drush pm hyphen update and the name of the project or multiple projects separated by a space that I would like to update. Run the command and then follow the instructions on the screen. The drush pm hyphen update command will take care of downloading the new code and running any database update scripts if required. In this tutorial, we learned how to update a contributed module using the user interface provided by the upgrade manager module and alternatively using the drush pm hyphen update command.